Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today I'm introducing Think Again Christian. Uh, Think Again Christian is a course that I've actually been developing for uh, the past 25 years. And I've used elements of this in, in many different ways. I've used it in uh, home Bible studies. I've used it at uh, the dinner table and devotions with my kids. Uh, I've used it as, as um, illustrations for sermons, for chapel, you know, preaching. Uh, and I even had the great opportunity of hosting a radio show for two years called Think Again Christian. And so what is Think Again Christian? Well, Think Again Christian is the idea that we want to, as believers, use our critical thinking skills, examine uh, to see if it were so like the Bereans. And we do this really with everything. We, we do this with uh, pop culture. We do it with the, the TVs, the shows we watch, the movies we watch, the music we listen to. Uh, we even do it with uh, theology. We, we do it with what we're being taught. Is, is, is this what the scriptures say? We do it with philosophy and ideology. There's a lot of different uh, worldviews that, that, that we hear and listen to on a daily basis. And so what we want to do is train our children to, to use their critical thinking skills, but from a biblical perspective. And so we, what we want you to think is, well, think again. Think about that again, Christian, which means, you know, think about it biblically. I don't want you to think about it as a Democrat. I don't want you to think about it as a Republican. I don't want you to think about it as a male or female, as a black or white or Hispanic or American or a German. I want you to think about this biblically. And so I got this idea from Dennis Prager, who I've uh, been a big fan of when I was in Los Angeles. And back then he just had a radio show. Then he came out with a book called Think a Second Time. And so that's where I got the idea of Think, think Again Christian. Um, and then uh, now Dennis Prager is pretty famous for his uh, Prager U, uh, three five minute clips. And so uh, we actually have a course called uh, Prager U as well. But the idea behind this class of Think Again Christian is not only to inspire you, uh, but to really inform you about different situations, current events um, that are happening in the world. Not just political, but but really, you know, the the wave of thinking of, of the day and in a situation. And, and so one of the things that we've learned is, look, uh, we're being presented with information that, that is skewed. Uh, some call it fake news. I, I would call it half news. Um, and, and they're really artists at showing you. Well, look, I, I showed you the video. He said it came out of his mouth. But what they're doing is they're, they're taking clips. Uh, I was taught in university that, you know what, don't believe anything that you read and only half of what you see. Because they, they can adjust and change things. They can take a camera angle and just by shifting it, they can present this as being a, a, a one-man event, five students that, that, are, that are, you know, uh, on site, 50 students, 500, 5,000. It, you just don't know. It all depends on the camera angle. The other thing they can do is they can take your words and take them out of context and, and make them really completely opposite of, of what you really said. I could say, I disagree that evolution is true. I 100% disagree emphatically in evolution evolution being true, right? And then they could just take the last part of it and say, well, Tony said evolution is true and eliminate. I said a hundred percent. I don't believe evolution is true. And so we have to be careful nowadays. We have to be careful how people use facts, right? They, they'll, they'll use factual information uh, to support a point. Well, but that point doesn't doesn't mean it's factual. You could say it's a fact that that John called Tony. It's a fact that John called Tony on, on his birthday. But actually, the fact is that that John was calling for Tony's brother. John didn't want Tony at all. But you can make it sound like, well, John was calling you on your birthday, right? So anyway, we want to train our students. We want to train you. Uh, to use our critical thinking skills. We know that you need to evaluate philosophy, news, ideologies, 
pop culture. Pop culture is teaching us and training us and showing us things and images that uh, are representing uh, ungodly, unbiblical ideas. And we need to be able to identify them. We need to be able to accurately evaluate these things. Uh, we need to avoid even some religious traditions. Um, some of us have some, some old religious traditions that just may not be true. Um, and so we want to we want to be biblical. You know, we always had a, had a saying, chapter and verse. Show me the chapter. Show me the verse. Uh, is this biblical? We want to avoid being, you know, looking at our political history we wanna, or 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 family tie-ins. We want to, you know, avoid cultural. Some of us are just tied into to culture, and it's like, listen, above your culture, you should be a Christian. You should be a believer you, in Christ. You should be biblical and then we need to learn how to process this information that we're seeing in the world with the bible we, we, we need to be biblical first and always uh, but sometimes it's just not that easy we it's just not that simple to be able to uh, identify well where in the bible does it talk about uh, building border walls right does it say anything like that in the bible specifically um, one of my favorite verses uh, is Proverbs 23, 7, so a man thinketh, he liveth. So you think, the way you think is going to be the way you live. So it's important how you think. And then it's important to say, okay, hold on a second. Let's, let's think through that again. Let's think a second time, right? Let's think again. Let's think again about this. And so our course then uh, is, is designed to, uh, to, to think again and...